What's up, my friends? Welcome to this amazing day, my friend. This day is super duper amazing, and here's why. Because this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it, my friend. I'm so thankful that you made the cut. I'm so happy that you're here to have another chance to get it right, my friend. I'm so thankful that you got breath flowing through your lungs, my friend. God saw it fit to allow you to live another day, my friend. So the first order of business is you got to have a gratitude session with God, my friend. Yes, you do. Because life is just like real estate. And that whatever we appreciate increases in value, right? But whatever we don't appreciate decreases in value, my friend, even, even your life, right? So make sure you have a gratitude session with God and make sure before you get out here into the world, you're your best self, right? Because you want to do unto others as you expect others to do unto you, my friend. And you don't want to receive no low-hanging fruit, less than mediocre vibrations from other people. Because all day, we're sending and receiving vibrations, energy. Everything is energy. So all day, we're sending out mental vibrations. We're receiving vibrations, my friend. And you don't want to give nobody that low-hanging fruit energy because you don't want to receive that low-hanging fruit energy. So here's the fix. Make sure you come out into the world as your best possible self, right? Because when you're your best self, everybody wins, right? But when you're not your best self, everybody loses, including you, my friend. And I'm going to drop this on you, my friend, because life is all about choices, my friend. And I'm here to tell you that you must always choose understanding, my friend. You must always choose understanding over judgment. Let me explain. See, the goal is to always seek understanding, not judgment. And here's why. See, when you choose the other, to understand other people, you make a mental deposit. It gives you something. It builds you up. It makes a mental deposit in your life. However... However, when you choose to judge other people, it takes something away. It makes a mental withdrawal from out of your life, bringing you closer and closer to becoming mentally bankrupt, my friend. That's why you got to choose understanding. Not to mention, judging other people gives the judger a false sense of superiority, I'm better than you. In other words, it makes the judger prideful and will ultimately lead to your demise, my friend. You already know that pride comes before the fall, right? And here's three reasons why you gotta always choose understanding, my friend. Number one, here's the thing. See, when you choose under, see, when you choose judgment, rather, when you choose to judge other people, when you choose judgment, it leads to negative emotions. You can't judge other people without thinking of negative emotions, feeling negative emotions. But when you choose to understand other people, right? It leads to emotional harmony, my friend, right? Number two, here's the thing. See, when you choose to judge other people, that puts your, not theirs, it puts your selfishness on full display. But when you choose to understand other people, now that, my friend, that shows caring, right? And number three, here's the thing. You got to develop a greatness mindset. Yes, you do. A mind bold enough to believe, right? That when you judge other people, it forces you to make negative assumptions. But when you try to understand other people, it leads to empathy, my friend. And not to mention, empathy can change the world, my friend. Empathy. Not judging why are you like that, but empathizing what made you like that. I want to wear your shoes so I can understand why you're like that, my friend. That can change the world, my friend. Always choose understanding over judgment. Here's the biggest reason why. 
because you were born to be great.